Ladies and gentlemen, excited to start Saturn series in the houses for every ascendant. So, if you are Aries ascendant, what happens if Saturn is in your first house? We'll discuss for every ascendant. So, stay tuned. And please don't forget to mention down in the comments where is your Saturn? What do you think your Saturn is doing? And where is your moon that is also important but all this predictions and analysis that we will discuss today is from your ascendant your lagna your rising sign and not from your moon sign all right but please write all the details in your comments thank you aries ascendants mesh lagna so saturn has come to your first house and your ascendant is aries so here he's debilitated but saturn for you is the lord of the 10th house and the 11th house. So he's a very, very, very important planet. So don't think that he's just debilitated, so it's all gone, all right? Also, Saturn in the first house you know, is a moral correct position, but still, do not think that you will only get troubles. Now, this is a phenomenal position of Saturn in the horoscope if you want to be a politician or you want to become a leader. But because it is in debility, <clears throat> so you will have to work very hard. Your subordinates may not support you at times. You will have to work your way up. Okay, you won't, you won't get a silver spoon, but you will have to work hard. Okay, but if you work hard, you will be rewarded because <clears throat> the tenth house and the eleventh house are houses which uh, give you all the name fame in the world. So therefore. If you have this position, you know, you might struggle a bit with, you know, self-confidence. There could be delays in your career advancements or there could be issues with your, you know, um, siblings or in your network circles. And there could also be some health issues with regards to your bones or muscles at times. And uh, Saturn from there will, you know, aspect also your 10th house. So for profession, this is a very important position, which means there will be a lot of activity. So 10th lot of profession coming to your Lagna means a lot of work is coming, a lot of responsibility is coming, okay? But you need to see the overall chart to know what will happen actually, okay? So for example, if overall your chart is very supportive for profession, then you will have a very good career with this, but you have to go gradually, okay? And if the overall chart is not supportive for profession, then uh, yeah, there could be defamation, scandals and all this, all right? So this is a bit of a tricky placement. Good one, but with wor hard work only, all right? So if you have this position, then there are no shortcuts to success, <laughs> all right? Thank you, Aries. Now let's go to Taurus. So for Taurus, what's going on? Saturn is in your luck now. Saturn does very well in the sign of Taurus because it's an art sign and he's also the lord of your 9th and 10th, right? As per your ascendant. So Saturn is a yoke card planet for you and this placement in the first house is an extremely powerful placement for you. It's like saying the guru and your name fame is coming to you, okay? So this is a position which can grant you you know favors from the king uh so in modern day you can interpret it as the government okay so this can give you this can make you a very steady a very patient and a very hard working personality you may gain a lot of respect in society with this placement this is a phenomenal placement for getting into politics or becoming an ies officer or you know getting into you know, becoming a ceo of a company this is phenomenal because you have the knowledge and the skills that are required, okay? Uh, but there's one danger with this placement. If if you feel that you are getting too much, uh, you are getting too obsessed with rules and regulations, then you might have to relax a bit. So this means if you this means you should be strict with yourself, but a bit lenient with others because you cannot be strict with everybody. Okay, ninth Lord Saturn can make you very strict, but Along with this, if you have 3 and 8 in your date of birth, then also your uh, strictness will be increased, okay? And if your middle fingers, which is the finger of Saturn, if this is very straight, then also you will have lots and lots and lots of discipline again, which is great for yourself, but it may be a bit too much for others, all right? So if you have 3 and 8 in your date of birth, like 
for example, 3rd August or you know, whatever. However, you have 3 and 8, you're born in 1938 <laughs> or 1983 maybe. No, so then also your strictness will be much more. So use the strictness for yourself, but be a bit lenient for others, all right? Great placement, Taurus. Congratulations and wish you all the best. Now, we go to Gemini. Gemini, Lagna, Saturn in the first house. Great placement. Because Saturn gets exalted in Libra, which is another air sign. And Gemini is also an air sign, as you know. But for you, there are still some challenges. Why do I say? Because don't forget, Saturn is the 8th Lord. What is 8th house? 8th house is basically the graveyard. Okay, 8th house is basically where things go to die, where things end, it's the smashan, okay. But luckily he's also the ninth lord. So it's like it's it's like both the things are there. The eighth house is darkness, ninth house is light. So both light and darkness are there. Now this is a very tricky placement. It is in general a great placement, but you need to see the overall chart. If in in your case, if your sun, moon and your ascendant lord, okay if these three planets are well placed. Now, who is your ascendant lord? Mercury, because Mercury lords Gemini. So, if these three planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, they are well placed, then this placement will give you a lot of research abilities, you know, to, you, you can become like a detective, you can go into depth of things, you can learn, you can read, you can do so much, okay? But if Sun, Moon and Mercury are badly placed in your chart, and if you straighten your hand, your middle finger, if it is tilting too much towards the index finger okay so if you make your hand straight your your middle finger is like you know not straight yeah, when you just normally open it it is tilting like this okay somewhat like this not too much i'm exaggerating a bit but suppose you know it is until uh, this much is fine okay this much is normal but if it is coming like this or if it's going like this when you open your hand i mean don't just artificially do like this <laughs> all right so then if this finger is tilting towards your index finger too much, then you might misuse your uh, power position. Okay, this is not very good. And on the other side, if this finger is tilting towards your ring finger, then you can get into depression. So in this case, it is best if you have this finger straight. Okay, when you open your hands, it should ideally be straight. Then it will give you a lot of uh, strength to uh, do research in a disciplined manner and you know go and do things in a way that actually matters okay so for you it is very important that you have a mentor because the eighth house can sometimes make you feel that you know you are lost in life so if the ninth lord which shows the mentor is also there you can do very good in life so therefore do research and also take guidance from a mentor, a guru, your father or some astrologer or some senior in your company or in your family, they can guide you. All right. All the best, Gemini. Now we go to Cancer. Cancer, Lagna, Saturn in the first house as the seventh lord and the eighth lord. Now, Saturn does not do the best in water signs, as you know. He does... Advantage, I would say, not too bad, but not the best, not that, not a very great placement. But you have to understand every placement will be contributing to the overall flow of the chart. So, if the overall chart in your case is good for business, then this is a great placement. Now, how do you know if the overall chart is good for business? Well, in your hand. Now, if your mercury finger is very long, then you know you have great business acumen. In your date of birth, if you have the number 5, so you are born like, you know, in May or 1985, 95, or you are born on 5th, or your basic number is 5. You know, for example, you are born on 5th or 23rd or 14th, or your destiny number, you add your date of birth, that comes to 5. Then you know you have good business skills, okay? So, if you have 5 in your date of birth, in the ways that I mentioned, and your mercury finger is very long, this finger of your right hand, irrespective of your gender, then you know this placement can be very good. And 
in your horoscope if you if your sun moon and ascendant lord now in your case ascendant lord is the moon itself right so if your sun moon these two planets are very well placed like you know maybe in the 10th house or you know they are exalted or they are in the 11th or they are in the lagna itself so if you have powerful positions then you are born to do business because the 7th and 8th rule business not exactly like literally business but they rule business but also assets of other people the 8th house rules joints as joint assets so uh, if you have number 5 in your date of birth especially you can do excellent as a fund manage fund manager or you know you can open your own portfolio management services or you know you can have your real estate company wherever you are managing money given to you by others that is where you will do very good all right but on the flip side if your uh, sun and moon they are not very well placed then you can mismanage assets so for that it is recommended that you do a job you have a job where you follow instructions of others and you do not get into uh, managing money from others all right so that's very 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 important all the best cancer now leo lagna leo lagna simha lagna saturn in the first house okay mm, sun saturn <laughs> but don't worry this is not this does not mean that you know just because saturn is in leo your saturn is ruined okay now of course this is a position which can give you power struggles in life okay now you could have power struggles with your superiors or your subordinates it could go either ways but it's not as simple as it seems okay you need to understand how it works so for you saturn is the 6th lord and also the 7th lord okay so 6th lord 7th lord in the lagna what does this mean this means that you might face a challenge between being a individual contributor or being a team player so for you the biggest challenge is that you learn not only to contribute yourself but you also learn to contribute with everybody else so with this placement it could happen that you are a excellent team player or it could happen you are a terrible team player okay now that's the thing that's the interesting thing that see how the zodiac is designed if you want to be a good team player what is something you need you need some humility because somebody will tell you oh this is not good that is not good right you will hear things which can pinch you a bit your ego a bit right so that is why uh, it's it, it, this placement can uh, make you humble sometimes okay so therefore if you have this placement you need to understand that i need to do two things first i need to be very good at my job okay so six lord in lagna you need to be excellent at your job otherwise you may face defamation but at the same time you need to also learn that i have to not only contribute myself but contribute with everybody else so that's the next step challenge okay so with this placement if you feel that you know you can be lazy and just do whatever you want no it, it won't be like that with this placement you will feel people are judging you at your workplace every single minute any time your dress is a bit off your uh, communication is a bit off people will immediately give you a negative feedback all right so this is something which you need to be prepared for but if your sun and moon if they are very well placed if your 10th lord is well placed if your 10th house is strong and you know in your date of birth you have the number 1 and you have the number 8 in even times you know like uh, 8th of august for example so then you can do excellent in your job or you can do very good in real estate okay so this is a very interesting placement where you can get a lot of criticism but it's a great placement if you work through it okay so don't think this is a bad placement can be bad if the overall chart is bad or you know if uh, your eighth house is having too many planets then there can, could be you know some serious defamation in your life okay but in general this is not a very bad placement as you might think all right so therefore be on alert when you are in your workplace and learn to be a team player and 
reduce your ego a bit. All right, then you will do fantastic. Take care, Leo. <laughs> now we go to Virgo. Virgo Lagna. What is going on? Saturn in Lagna. Fantastic placement. Saturn does excellent in art science, right? Just like Taurus and Capricorn also. And he's your fifth lord and he's your sixth lord. Now what does this mean? This means you have a great chance to implement whatever you know. What does this mean? This means you have to slowly build up. So this is this is maybe the best position to be an entrepreneur. Best position. Hands down, the best position. I, I don't think any other ascendant is as blessed as Virgo to become an entrepreneur because see what does an entrepreneur require? The entrepreneur requires the fifth house. Fifth house gives you the vision why you want to do something. And the sixth house tells you how you should do it. Okay. So now both the lords are together. So this is like saying the planet which gives you vision and execution are the that one single planet that has come and that planet is sitting on your head. Okay. Ascendant is the head, right? So this is a fantastic placement to do something big in life. Now adding to this, if you're uh Bring uh, this uh, this finger. This finger is very big. Okay, it's very long. Okay, then this this will give you more power to do business. Okay, so therefore, if this finger is very long, you are very fortunate with this. Or if your uh, ring finger, which is the sun finger, no, this finger, is very long, then you will be extremely creative with this. So, this is a fantastic placement. Along with that, you have to see if in your date of birth, you have numbers like 2, 6 and 7. These can make you extremely creative or if you have the number 5, okay, then also you will be very good with money. So this is a placement which can make you extremely creative or extremely good with finances. It depends on your date of birth and also on your hand. And it will also depend on your chart. So for example, in your chart, uh, if you have a very strong 10th house, you will be very good with money. You will have very good organization skills. Uh, but if you have a very strong 3rd house or 5th house, you will be very good with creativity. Okay. So therefore, check your hand, check your date of birth and check your horoscope. All right. But this is a fantastic placement to implement things that you are passionate about and create a business out of it. All right. All the best, Virgo. Now we go to Tula Lagna, Libra Lagna. What is going on, Libra? Fourth Lord, fifth Lord in Lagna. Saturn is your yoga karak for Libra Lagna. Just like for Taurus, right? So this is the best placement for Saturn because guess what? You know it already. Saturn gets exalted in the sign of Libra. That is the Ucha Rashi. And he's also your yoke karak. So yoke karak getting exalted in your lagna. This is this is the best. Okay. For Virgo also it's excellent, but for you it's even better. Okay. So for Libra, if you have this placement, you are very fortunate. This is a placement which has no definition. Like for Virgo, I said it's great to be an entrepreneur. For Aries, I said it's great to be. A politician, Aries or Taurus, with displacement if it's in Lagna. But for you, you have the freedom to be anyone and everyone that you love. Okay. So this means if you are a singer, you are a painter, you are a um, uh, you know uh, bathroom cleaner, or you are a AI expert, you are a magician, you are astrologer, you are anybody, surgeon, you know. <laughs> Software doesn't matter. Why? I'll tell you why. Because. The fourth house shows education. The fourth house shows things that you are aware of. And the fifth house shows things that you are really passionate about. Okay. So if the Lord of these two houses are sitting in your ascendant and that planet is exalted, then it means you have tremendous capacity to gain knowledge and to have a vision. So the most important thing for you, Libra Lagna, is to have a vision in life. If you have a vision, then you are you you are done for life, basically. Okay, but 
along with this you also have to check your sun finger you know this ring finger okay this finger so if this finger is very long it will make you extremely creative it will give you extreme risk taking capacity and it will make you extremely could be charming at times because uh, this uh, is the finger of the sun and fifth floor also shows you know charm and all this so Use your energy, your power uh, for good reasons and you will be very, very, very successful. Okay, so this is the best placement for all, all the uh, ascendants you win. All right, you and Virgo are the winners. All right, congratulations Libra and make the best use of this placement. Cultivate discipline and do whatever you feel like you should do. All right. Of course, that doesn't mean you just waste time and you do whatever you want, but build slowly, slow and steady wins the race, even in 2024. Don't forget this, okay? <laughs> now we go to Scorpio, Vrishchik Lagna. What is going on? Scorpio, for you, Saturn in Scorpio in the first house, hmm, not the best placement, but he lords your third and fourth houses. Now, what does this mean? Third and four. What does the third house do? The third house is the house of your communication skills. And fourth house shows your knowledge. Third house is displacement. Fourth house is stability. So this is a combination. A very good combination for you to learn something and also adapt to the changes. So if you have this placement, you are very fortunate because you are very versatile. You can learn a lot of things. Okay. And this finger, the last finger, if this finger, the, the mercury finger is very long, then you are even more versatile, okay? You can change things very quick. Now, with this, there is a good and bad. The good is, you can be very versatile, which means you can learn a lot of things. You can be like a uh, jack of all trades, okay? <laughs> and also maybe a master of a few trades. But the problem, the flip side with this is, you maybe jumping on you know too many different things simultaneously and you may not be uh, successful so if your uh, the mercury finger is very short then this can happen the negative side can come so if your mercury finger is very short then it means you should first do one thing at a time and finish it and only then go to something else okay that's very important and if your mercury finger is very long okay then you can do 10 things at a time and you can be successful. You can just do things like this, all right? Chutki <laughs> me. So therefore, also it depends on your uh, date of birth. So for example, if you have number 5, number 7, number 3, number 1, number 9, then these numbers will give you a lot of power to, you know, gain knowledge and, you know, do whatever you want. But if you have numbers like 2, 4, uh, six, then this can uh, give you troubles with, you know, doing too many things together, okay? So, therefore, look at your data, but look at your hand and also look at your horoscope, of course. So, it depends on your Mars and your Sun and Moon also because Mars is your Lagna Lord. So, if these three planets are also good along with Saturn, then it means you can do 10 things together. Otherwise, maybe not, okay? So, it will depend on what's going on with your chart and how should you uh, approach this all right but use this learn and upgrade yourself constantly you will require constant upgradation so upgrade your skill sets not only for your profession but also for your family life all right all the best scorpio now sagittarius danu lagna What's going on? Sagittarius, Saturn in first house. He's the second lord and the third lord, right? This can make you a bit serious and this can make you a bit concerned about the things that you have in life, okay? This is a good placement because the second lord coming into Lagna can make you very wealthy. But for that, you need to check your horoscope. So, for example, with this placement, if you... Have a very strong 10th house. Your 10th lord is great. Your sun, moon and Jupiter are very well placed. Why Jupiter? Because Jupiter is your Lagna lord. So if these three planets are well placed and in your date of birth, if you have 3, 1, 9, 7, 5, these five numbers or more the better, 
and in your hand if you have a very long you know thumb if your thumb is very long like this okay <laughs> or your mercury finger the last finger is very long then also you can be very good with money but also saturn is your third lord so third house gives you the power to learn new things okay so this is a position where you will always try to find value because whichever planet is in sagittarius will always try to find value so for you the second lord is in sagittarius and the second lord also shows value so therefore you will always try to see what is valuable you know what kind of friends do i have what's my family you know my children my husband my wife my parents my neighbor so for you it is very difficult to uh, not find value in something and still keep doing it. it it is almost impossible you cannot do it okay so therefore if you have this placement don't be superficial don't try and pretend because saturn is also the third lord you may sometimes feel that you know you are doing some show off you are like you know bragging about yourself or your job or your marriage or your children and you know internally it's not the best okay so therefore this is a placement where you need to do what you are good at but at the same time understand that you may over boast about yourself sometimes and saturn does not like it all right so this is something you need to be conscious about um, and at the same time this placement can mean that uh, you should travel or you will have to travel by choice or by force and there could be some displacement okay so second house shows a bit of like family stability and third house shows you know bit of instability okay so there could be a balance of both you know sometimes you may need to travel sometimes you may need to aim for stability so or uh, don't get too much obsessed about uh, you know stability or instability uh, be a bit fluid you know and go with the flow if sometimes you might have to change a place then do it but at the same time try and not change things too much all right all the best sagittarius now we go to capricorn capricorn makar lagna saturn in your lagna fantastic position <laughs> so saturn is giving you mahapurush yog shash mahapurush yog right fantastic placement is your lagna lord lagna lord in lagna second lord in lagna fantastic placement is in own sign this is a brilliant placement this is a placement which makes your saturn extremely powerful so it will give you a lot of discipline hard work uh, and a lot of responsibility or it will force you to be disciplined okay mm, good placement does not mean it's easy okay so if you have this placement if you are a capricorn lagna and you have saturn in lagna then hard work is non negotiable i don't care which area it is you have to work very hard in life but you will also get a lot of success okay so you don't have to think you will only just work hard okay so you may be a bit reserved in nature you may be a bit serious and you know uh but you will have a very strong sense of beauty towards things that you actually enjoy okay so saturn here can bring a uh, long lasting stability it can you know uh, help you cross over your delays disappointments setbacks and obstacles that come along your way and also he's your second lord so it's a great position for wealth name fame power position this is like a kingly position that you have and for you it's very important you find value and meaning in life otherwise what happens is you will only you will only do things because of pleasing others okay or if your chart is very powerful you may do it for boasting okay so therefore with this position it's very important that you have good self esteem so if you are son or daughter if you are a parent and your children they have this position then please make sure that you do not compare them with anybody else or you know if your brother sister anybody has this you know not only for them but with anybody you should not compare but specifically for these people if you are watching this video and you know your spouse or some family member has this then please don't compare them it's a sin to do it especially for these people you will regret this and they will yeah they will want to not stay with you ever okay 
So therefore, be of value to them. Be a valuable person yourself if you have this uh, displacement and everything else will take care of itself. All right. But hard work is non-negotiable and don't, don't mess around with hard work. Smart work is important, but you have to work hard. My dear sir, my dear madam, with this placement. And if you work hard, the rewards will be tremendous. Right? Take care, Capricorn. Now we go to Aquarius. So what is going on Aquarius? Kumbha Lagna. Lagna Lord. And 12th Lord is coming to your Lagna. This is Mool Trikon. This is also Mahapurush Yoga. Like Capricorn Ascendant and Libra Lagna. Alright? So this is Shasha Mahapurush Yoga. So... This is a phenomenal placement. Saturn is excellent in Aquarius. But there's a catch here. Saturn is also the 12th Lord. Hmm, how do you read this? So, this is a position where you may sometimes feel that you are a bit out of place with the society. Okay. So, your life can be a constant battle between what you think you should do what you think you should not do, what is right, wrong, what is good, bad, what others are telling, what you think is right. So, for you, this constant battle might go on. And understand that uh, you might have to face this battle. So, therefore, you need to understand that for you, meditation, doing spiritual practices is imperative. This is, it's non-negotiable for you. So, for you, just being disciplined, like for Capricorn, I said, you know, just be disciplined, everything else will take care of itself. But for you, just being disciplined will not help you. It will take you uh, far, but not very far. So for you, you must understand that you will have to take the names of God. So please chant Om Namo Bhagwate Shri Vamanaya. This mantra will help you. This is a mantra for Vamandev, which is one of the avatars of Vishnu and this mantra is connected to the 12th house because you may feel you are a bit out of place. Now, this is a very interesting situation where you know who you are because your Lagnesh is itself Saturn himself and Lagnesh is in Lagna. So, it's like saying, I know who I am. But my Lagnesh is also my 12th Lord. So, it's like I still don't know who I am. So, sometimes you may feel so, in your life, you may be going like, you know, uh, imagine you have a fancy car, but you cannot go in, you know, top gear. You have to like, you know, go, put brake, 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 go, put brake like this. So, you, you, your way, uh, your journey is a bit like uh, interrupted always, okay? You may feel like that. So, therefore, uh, this is a great placement to do business because uh, you will have some expenditure first and then you can you know earn a lot of money but overall you have to understand that this placement is very important for also your spiritual life so if you have uh, if you if you can do you know spiritual practices your spiritual life will also improve and therefore be conscious of god read the scriptures and chant mantras and do the best you think is uh, do, do what you think is the best, okay? But at the same time, be conscious that sometimes your decisions might be wrong. So you might have to consult your guru or read the scriptures and understand what is right, all right? But nonetheless, this is a fantastic placement. Congratulations, Aquarius, all right? Last but not the least, we go to Pisces. So Pisces, Saturn is your 11th Lord and he's also your... 12th Lord in this case and this placement of Saturn in Pisces is almost like a neutral placement. Now what does this mean neutral? Neutral does it mean uh, there's nothing good nor is there anything bad? <laughs> no, it does not mean that. Neutral in the sense Pisces is not the best sign for Saturn but it's a very good sign to work with detachment. Why detachment? Not just because it is Pisces. No. Because Saturn here also lords your 12th house, which is again the house of detachment and 11th house, which is the sign of success. So, for you, it's very, very, very important that you do not get obsessed with your so-called success, okay? Because 
if you get too much obsessed with your success, uh, it might be taken away from you anytime. So therefore, you need to be humble and you need to work in a way that is not just good for you, but is good for everybody else. So if you can work in that way, then this is a fantastic placement because you will learn the art of getting detached from the whole world at the time of death. So this this position is the best position for spiritual elevation. So therefore, you should read more about God, read about great personalities, you know, like the Pandavas, Dhruva Maharaj, you know, Prabhu Ram, Krishna, you can read about Lord Shiva. So if you read about God and all the great personalities, then you will realize that everything else, everything that you see in this world will eventually come to an end, okay? You know, but the problem is because Satan is your 11th Lord, he may give you the feeling sometimes, you know, that, oh yeah, nothing's coming to an end, okay? No, no everything is just gonna go always the way it is, okay? So therefore, make sure you run after success because this is a very powerful position for success also. So, a run after success, nothing wrong with it, but also understand that you have to make sure you don't get too attached. Otherwise, Saturn will strip you off of material things and it will be a bit painful for you. Alright, so take care Pisces and thank you everyone. Jai Siya Ram.